well to maintain a vital circulation which requires that we reborrow principal and interest that we pay out of the circulation with principal reborrowed, uh, reconstituting the former sum of debt and making it mathematically impossible to pay down any sum, former sum of debt and with what interest we, we borrow back into circulation therefore increasing the sum of debt in, pro in proportion to the circulation or remaining capacity to service debt until ultimately and inevitably we suffer terminal failure. A failure or a sum of debt which is so great that we can no longer afford to service it and while we artificially sustain the lifespan, the finite lifespan of the system any further, we assume yet even further debt beyond a terminal sum of debt which is why you know um, we can never uh, resort to what we call what is being called austerity Austerity itself is a lie uh, uh, under a system which can only, under this obfuscation of the currency, which can only perpetually multiply artificial indebtedness in proportion to a circulation or remaining capacity to pay. You accumulate debt at an, an, at an inherently escalating rate until you suffer failure in the end of the system at a very, very fast rate. And so to pretend it's only to pretend that we can service the debt when the particularly when we've already when when we are already suffering a terminal sum of artificial indebtedness so it's it's very important for us to understand that um indeed long ago uh this work proved one and one only way out of this situation how do we resolve our debts to what they really ought to be? Well, obviously, we count all prior payments of interest toward principal. That means most of the world's debts are paid off already, and rightly so. And this is the transformation to mathematically perfected economy. It would immediately eliminate uh, most of the artificial falsified indebtedness which has been imposed upon the world, and which not only has been imposed upon us, but which now threaten us, threatens us with Im virtually immediate terminal failure. Should we even be honoring the further debt that we're assuming generally across the world through uh, federal governments via federal overspending, that is spending more than they can possibly take in because uh, this is the only way being as our, the credit worthiness of the private sector is already exceeded, we cannot maintain a vital circulation by borrowing further because we've borrowed all we are credible to borrow. So federal overspending is the only thing that reflates the circulation as nonetheless the private sector is paying, spending so much money out of circulation that the the tremendous amount is of, of, of federal overspending and new money that's being issued into circulation only accounts for what we're sp spending out of circulation in the way of servicing what are already terminal sums of private debt. So this is this obfuscation of the currency explains all of our problems. Well, you know, I was just speaking with a a uh, gentleman in 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 England and and uh, you know he mentioned how flattering it is that you know the all these people are plagiarizing my work and yet he agreed immediately a very intelligent fellow because he he just was introduced to mathematically perfected economy yesterday uh and he gets it in fact uh, he's only studied it a little so far and he's filling in all the blanks himself with perfect accuracy. Now, the thing that we have to realize is that why was he, for instance, uh, not exposed to this work? The reason is, instead of getting behind solution, so many people uh, instead decided that they could write a book and they could make a pile of money off this, although it isn't even their research, the work is even copyrighted and trademarked. But yet they produced a book. Uh, 
my work was online 10 years before formal internet, fully documented, copyrighted, and trademarked, complete with computer models and source code, which actually projected that this failure would transpire at approximately 2010 AD. Clear back in the early 1980s, projected then, simply by accumulating the debt as we pay principal and interest out of circulation and borrow that back as new debt increased by so much as periodic interest. We simply did the simple arithmetic on into time accumulating the debt until we had so much debt we could no longer service it and that is the maximum possible lifespan of any economy based on interest bearing debt or this obfuscation of the currency in which interest is not justified. So my work was a valid um, thesis from its beginning. It's never changed. And, and all these uh, recent 11th hour pretenders who are rising up, you know, they, they might disagree about something, but they're wrong. And we have debates uh, uh, and uh, they're proven wrong. And, and uh, little by little or lot by lot, uh, they morph uh, their presentation more into mine because mine was the only one which was accountable from the very beginning. <clears throat> but what do we have if 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 these people nonetheless uh, persist in 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 what are divisive efforts? We would have no reparation if this is the only behavior that we engage in. If we think that a, an idea is glorious, so I'll profit from it by, even though it's not mine, it's not my intellectual property, uh, I'm not even going to offer you something <clears throat> which would benefit you in truth because it's a giant step backwards from mathematically perfected economy. On, and all these other propositions are. Uh, I mean, it, it seems, you know, at face value that, oh, my God, if they just spent money into circulation, there would be no debt. That solves everything. Well, that's just a simpleton's thought. You see, all things cost us the same, at least in inflation, unless we solve inflation. And so there's no such thing as a free lunch. Does that s save you a penny? from buying, a, 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 to spending money into circulation, save you a penny uh, of cost from a $100,000 home with a 100-year lifespan? Absolutely not. Does mathematically perfected economy cost you any more? Absolutely not. Does spending money into circulation allow you to own, own the home, except in the end of your lifetime when you've saved $100,000 from a circulation, which is, 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 is spent in a circulation to represent something else? And to convey commerce representing uh, of something else? Absolutely not. It's improbable even that you will be able to save it from such a system. So then the advocates of spending money into circulation say, well, we could spend more then, you know, well, then then that's inflationary, you see. And so they haven't even done the math. Uh, all these people are 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 taking the opposing side to mathematically perfected economy of spending money into circulation. Why? Basically, it's simple because they're plagiarists because they're amateur monetary reformists who have never even done the math, who have stolen from an original exposure of this obfuscation of the currency, which is critical to understand, but which they don't explain in their work because it would be plagiarism, but which also they don't carefully evaluate in their work and account for it, the issues raised in that obfuscation so as they produce, in fact, a true solution. So just recently, uh, I've, well, a number of people, you know, uh, are, are trying to, you know, put others who have run astray with their own plagiarisms and imitations of, of, of my work 
um, others who have come to realize that in fact uh, indeed mathematically perfected economy is the only answers others have 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 tried to bring rein in these other people uh, politely um, uh, I only have so much time on my hands and the most important things for me to address are uh, uh, the establishment of this site that we've been discussing of people for mathematically perfected economy which will offer this global mandate for mathematically perfected economy and absolute consensual representation that's the most important thing t for me to do but yet well I have uh, the good fortune to be able to broadcast this program um, it's important that at the same time that I take the time to address these other issues at least by kind or category so that uh, uh, we as a people can unite by finally understanding uh, by thinking that in fact I did 40 years ago 43 years ago um, I mean uh, you know forgive me I it's just it's incredible to think that we could have had mathematically perfected economy all this while um, yes it was a few years until um, my own comfort in explaining and justifying it uh, and uh, ability to resolve uh, even a means of transforming these systems of exploitation into mathematically perfected economy it was there was some time uh, you know through uh, the early 70s that uh, uh, I grew an ability um, to explain the issues and to, to, to present a fact of e even immediate just transformation to mathematically perfected economy not only immediate but even virtually without cost you know here we are spending billions giving it to the criminals so they can preserve the crime we're bailing out the banks that's preserving the the the, the, the criminals and the instrument of the crime instead for a tiny fraction of of, the, of that cost, tiny negligible cost, we're all refinancing our debt anyway. Why not do it once? Why not do it under mathematically perfected economy? Why not reduce that thousand dollar a month payment under this system, un unassented system of exploitation, imposed system of exploitation? Why not reduce its one thousand dollar a month cost? to a thousand dollars a year or eighty three dollars and thirty three cents a month why not do that not only at at no cost whatsoever would we accomplish the object we'd be accomplishing it by reducing the present cost of servicing debt to one twelfth making ourselves immediately twelve times as liquid just just for refinancing our debts under mathematically perfected economy now, how are you going to accommodate that under these other propositions, such as spending money into into circulation? These people don't provide even a a hint, a worthy hint, a meritable hint of a of a way that you could do so. And the fact of the matter is, under mathematically perfected economy and under this singular prescription for justly transforming mathematic uh, exploitation these systems of exploitation into mathematically perfected economy these issues are all worked out to exactitude to exactitude and you can run the numbers in the same models that I provided the Reagan administration and find out lo and behold the math is the only sustainable math the math is the only math
that allows for us to sustain all the prosperity that we were we are capable of.